Ever wished your computer could solve mind-boggling problems in a blink? Imagine a superpower for technology that can revolutionize medicine, encryption, and more. That's where quantum computing comes in. So let's dive into this video today to know how quantum computing is changing the game. Here we begin. A quantum computer is like a super smart machine that uses the tiny special rules of quantum physics to solve really tough problems. Quantum physics is the science of super tiny things like atoms and particles. These things behave in different ways than regular stuff. Quantum computers use these special rules to quickly do tasks that normal computers can't do. This idea is quite new and was mostly just in theories before. But in 2019, IBM made the first commercial quantum computer and Google scientists said they made one that's even better than supercomputers. So quantum computing is like a secret superpower for solving the hardest puzzles. How does quantum computing work? Quantum computing might sound really hard to understand, but we have broken down some basics to give you an idea of how it works. Imagine it like a puzzle where we're using super tiny things to solve big problems. So first is qubits. In regular computers, we have bits that are like tiny switches. They can be on, one, or off, zero. In quantum computers, we use qubits that can be both on and off simultaneously. It's like magic. It could be one, zero, or both. Next is superposition. Qubits can be in a mix of one and zero at once, which is called superposition. This is like having many puzzle pieces in different places all at the same time. It helps us solve tough problems way faster. Finally, entanglement. Qubits can also be connected when one changes, the others change too. This is called entanglement. It's like having puzzle pieces that always move together, no matter how far apart they are. Using these ideas, quantum computers can solve really hard problems much faster than regular computers. They're like puzzle-solving superheroes. Advantages and disadvantages of quantum computing. Let's talk about its advantages first. Firstly, quantum computers are incredibly fast. They can do calculations much quicker than regular computers. For example, in 2019, Google calculated in about 200 seconds that a super-powerful regular computer would need around 10,000 years to do. Secondly, quantum computers are great at solving really complex problems. When a normal computer can't handle a problem, it's usually because it is super complicated with many things interacting. But quantum computers can handle all this complexity using special tricks like superposition and entanglement. Thirdly, they can do really complicated simulations. Because they're so fast and smart, quantum computers could simulate things like complex systems. This could help us understand things we don't know much about. And on the downside, building quantum computers is really hard. Just look at IBM's Quantum System 1. These computers need very special conditions to work, like being super cold. They also use expensive parts and need a lot of special technology to even start working. Another problem is that quantum computers make mistakes easily. Because of how they work, things around them can cause errors and mess up their calculations. This gets worse as the problems they're working on get more complex, so we need to figure out how to fix these errors. Lastly, quantum computers are only good for certain things. They can be amazing in some areas but won't be better than regular computers at everything. What is quantum computing used for? Let's discuss what we can do with quantum computing in simple terms. Imagine it like a super special computer that can do things regular computers can't. So let's break down some ways we can use it. Firstly, think about molecules, those tiny things that make up everything. Regular computers have a hard time figuring them out, but quantum computers can help us understand how molecules work, like how batteries store energy or how proteins do their job. This could lead to better ways to save energy and improve medicine. Secondly, imagine searching for information in a huge library. Regular computers are like slow librarians, but quantum computers are super fast. They can help us find things in massive amounts of data quickly. Now let's talk about secrets and locks. Regular computers keep our information safe with codes like a secret language. Quantum computers are so smart that they could break these codes, which is a problem for keeping things safe. But don't worry, smart people work on new codes that quantum computers can't break. So quantum computing can help us stay safe online. Lastly, think about predicting the weather. Do you know how weather forecasts are sometimes wrong? Regular computers try really hard, but they struggle with all the details. Quantum computers might make weather forecasts much better because they can handle many complicated things simultaneously. So in all, quantum computing is like a superhero computer. It can help us understand tiny things, find stuff quickly, make better codes, and even predict the weather more accurately. It's a superpower for solving tough problems. What does the future of quantum computing hold? First comes super strong computers. Think about making computers even stronger. Scientists are working hard to make quantum computers better at doing special calculations. They want to fix the mistakes they sometimes make and make them work even faster. The second is magic for chemistry and materials. 
Imagine if computers could help scientists make new stuff like better materials and medicines. Quantum computers might be able to understand how tiny particles behave and help us make amazing things. Next, the secret code protection. Do you know how we keep our messages safe with secret codes on computers? Well, quantum computers are so powerful that they could break these codes. But clever people are finding new codes that even quantum computers can't break. So our secrets will stay safe. Further, super smart problem solvers. Think about really tricky problems like how to plan the best routes for delivering things or how to teach computers to learn from big piles of data. Quantum computers could be like superheroes for these problems, making things work faster and smarter. Finally, mixing superpowers. Imagine teaming up regular computers with quantum computers like having both a bicycle and a rocket. Some tasks need both kinds of computers to be even better. Scientists are figuring out how to make them work together. So is quantum computing the future of technology? Now comes an important question, whether quantum computing will be a big part of the future of technology. It's like looking at a baby that's just starting to grow up. Quantum computers are like tricky puzzles. They're not perfect yet and are hard to use. But they could be like superheroes for solving big problems and making cool things. Imagine having a special computer that can make really detailed pretend worlds and solve puzzles super fast. That's what quantum computers can do. They could help us understand things better and solve problems that regular computers struggle with. But there's a catch. We're not sure how far they'll go. It's like watching a plant grow. We don't know if it will become a tall tree or just a small bush. Big companies like Google and IBM spend a lot of money on these computers, so they must believe in their future. In the next few years, we might see more cool things happening with quantum computers. They could become even better, like a baby growing into a kid. So while we're not sure, it's like looking ahead to see if a little plant will become a big tree. We're excited to see what happens. What do you think of quantum computing? Comment below and subscribe for more.